Today we're adding a bit more Moroccan flair. So I'm going to prepare today a little green couscous with roast, uh, braised vegetables in a spicy green broth. I'm going to start off the vegetables for the dish. In here I've got a mixture again of all different vegetables for colour as well as flavour. I've got some pumpkin, some bits of turnip which I've cut into little pieces, some courgettes, some carrots, you name it, I've got everything in there. Parsnip, all those sort of lovely earthy winter flavours which are fantastic. First of all I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to our pan here. I'm going to add a little bit of our ras a la nout. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice in there. Okay, I'm going to put that into the oven now to get it braising for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so what about this broth? We're going to add chopped coriander. I'm going to now start adding some different spices. This is ground cardamom. We've got some ground ginger. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic to that as well. And then finally some dried mint. Then I'm going to spice it all up a bit with a green chilli. Then we're going to add some good old olive oil, a little bit of salt, lid on and go. I'm just going to take some of this out and I'm going to add that to my stock in here. So now I'm flavouring this beautiful green broth and that all goes into this broth. I mean, you'll cook that for about 10 minutes just to let the flavours infuse the stock. Couscous, I say, is a durum wheat grain and what we're going to do there, we're going to add to that our dried fruits. So that's all going into there. Our vegetables have been roasting, getting started for about 10 minutes now. Just getting a slight bit of colour. What I'm going to do now is take some of our beautiful chilli coriander broth, add that to the vegetables. I'm now going to go into the stage of, of braising the vegetables now, to a second stage. This will actually be the, so it's a very wintry, peasanty type of dish, but fantastic flavours. So that's going back in the oven now, back into our couscous. Here's our couscous now. We've added our dried fruits, and all we're going to simply do now is to take some of our stock, add it over the couscous, give it a good mix. You want it about a quarter of an inch, just above your couscous itself. Give that a little mix, take a little bit more. Put a cling film over it and steam it for about five minutes. Just leave that now doing its thing, simple as that. Okay, five minutes has elapsed on our couscous. Let's have a look at that now, see how that's looking. See, it's fluffed up. Okay, so there's our vegetables out of the oven. The braising liquid has gone down. I made a little sauce around it, fantastic. And add those chickpeas into the, onto the vegetables. They're already cooked. And we're gonna thicken up with a little bit of olive oil. We'll just make that broth slightly thicker and give us a little nice sauce to, to go with it. We're gonna take our wonderful green couscous. Make sure you've got all your fruits in here. Let's put it into the plate. Let's be in the heart of winter. This is coming to your table. No time for playing about. Let's get it onto the plate. There's the lots of flavour in there. We take our vegetables, the flavours of the of the broth are retaken, or vegetables are taken on this wonderful broth flavour. And again, as I say, you use whatever vegetables you like, your particular favourite. We're then going to take some of our mixture, pour it over, which is the broth from the vegetable cooking, and then we're just garnishing that with some little, little coriander again on the top. And there you have the dish. If I'm not feeling like something gourmet, this is the dish I want to eat. This is a little Moroccan style green couscous with seven vegetables, Razalanout spices. Welcome to Morocco.